Korean Quilt. Welcome back, everybody. It's time again for Korean Quilt. That's right, your guide to the Korean language and culture. Richard, can you think of anything more exciting than looking at the word and on today's Korean quilt? Oh, not very much, <laughs> Anna. It ranks right up there with Parcheesi on a Saturday night with your parents when you were in high school. Woo-hoo. But are you referring by chance to the use of kwa and wa, by the way? That's absolutely right. Basuwa taxi, a bus and a taxi, or pap. Gua kimchi, rice and kimchi, for example. What we're looking at here is using wa after nouns that end in a vowel and kwa when they end in a consonant. Wow, that sounds like a lot of Greek if you ask me, Anna. Really? Well, the fun doesn't stop there. Why, you ask? Because there's one more word we'll look at. Hago. Hago or and. The thing is, technically, wa and kwa are used to separate nouns, but in spoken Korean, people oftentimes just say hago when they want to say and. Is that so, Professor Banana? Absolutely. So let me give you an example. Let's say I want a cookie. Kwaja and milk, uyu. I could say kwaja wa uyu juseyo. But what you're getting at is that it's more natural to say kwaja hago uyu juseyo, right? Exactly. All right. Well, let's try that a little slower then, shall we? Can I have a cookie and some milk, please? Kwaja hago uyu juseyo. Mm-hmm. Kwaja hago uyu juseyo. And a little bit more naturally here, kwaja hago uyu juseyo. Okay, well, that's it. We'll be back tomorrow. Lots more in store here on Korean Quilt. See you next time. Bye.